Hi and welcome to Fans Talk Football where we're just ordinary fans who love to talk about football and today we're just going to be updating you guys on what's been going on at Manchester United and at Liverpool These two guys have a lot to say so we're just not, we're not going to waste any more time here Ling! Yes, hi! <laughs> give us an update about Manchester United What's been going on with Manchester United? Okay, Manchester United, okay We pick up where we left off the last time which will be before the PSG game. <laughs> I mean, sorry, the like, yeah, yeah, yeah. game. Sorry, yeah. So, and uh, I was hoping for a win, but uh, that was one of the worst formation played by Ole, I would say. He oh dear. Seven, talking, about the, talking about the Leipzig, Leipzig game. Leipzig game, yeah. yeah. Leipzig game. So, did you guys beat them 5 0? We beat like, them 5 0. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Exactly, Fun. we beat them 5 0. And uh, I do not know why, when this is such a vital game, he decides to play 7 defense. <laughs> seven in defense. Well, I mean, he was yeah. like uh, seven defensive seven players. Seven yeah. defensive players, you know. And again, three nil up, and we were trying to catch up again. Yeah. It, it was, and then of course in the end it too was daunting. too daunting. Too daunting. It was too late, and uh, a draw would have been enough. Yeah, exactly. A draw would have. A draw been. would have seen you guys so through, right? Yeah, seen us through, and. Right now, we are just going to look forward to Real Sociedad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Real Sociedad. Hey, Sociedad are on fire. But the thing yeah, was, well, yeah, the I remember you. Right? They, they are no, they're they're second, 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 they recently they're lost. Second one. So, yeah, all right, right. Okay. Um, Atletico is first. First. Same with Real, uh, Luis, with Real Madrid as well. Real Madrid, yes. So the three teams have uh, same points, different mm. goal difference. So yeah. the three teams are uh, top. Uh, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Real Sociedad. Yes. But anyway, uh, you predicted that Manchester United would go as far as the semi-final yeah. in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> in your podcast, so, you did that. Uh, How do you feel? That must have, I don't know, hurt you. That must have hurt. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you beat a team 5-0. And, and this uh, becoming the most important game for now. And they go and do this. So yeah. it hurt in a different level actually. They they yeah. did it at, against PSG. I mean yeah. all they needed was just one point for the last two games. That right? loss at Istanbul was costly. Very, very. That's that what made everything goal. yeah that uh, what made everything worse I would say. And, and the thing uh, with United as well mm. and they they seem to get cup competitions like you know they do pretty well in cup competitions. Mm. The last, last last season I think they had three semi finals. I'm not wrong. Is it three seven? Yeah, uh, yeah, FA Cup and uh, yeah, I think it's three seven. Yeah, so they seem they seem to be you know pretty good kick up competition. So but that's yeah, that's the thing. So I don't know why Ole seems to still not find his right formation, the winning team, nothing. Why I don't know why he played that against uh, this one Leipzig and. Uh, Pogba was good though, I watched the game. Okay, okay. Pogba was really good. <laughs> I, I watched it. Yeah, I mean, okay, he was. He's rumored to be transferred back to Juventus. Yeah. I don't know about that. Uh, I, mean, I, I think he can you, afford it right I now. I know your feelings about Pogba. <laughs> I know how you've made that feel yeah. on social media. He's made that very abundantly very clear. clear. <laughs> <laughs> <It's very laughs> clear. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, we don't need players playing based on mood and being poisoned by their agents, Ravi Alvaro, what's his name? Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Alvaro, Ravi Yeah, so like, um, anyways, uh, but he has came out in social media right now, support, backing up United and yeah, I saw saying that. a few, few things, so let's... Uh, well, he did come out and say that uh, he was unhappy at Manchester United. Yeah, of course, but that's the thing, I mean, I guess the yeah. arrival of Bruno did that uh, I mean, made him more angrier because he came in and he started, you know, doing all of this, all his assists and winning player of the month. He, he was like, after Ronaldo, he's the one of the new signings to win in the first season, you know. Yeah. I mean, the second season, three times in a row. Uh, not in a row, sorry. But uh, anyways, then Pogba fell left off. So, but that's what you were brought in for. <laughs> so why yeah, he had his chances time. for how many seasons? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? So he's not here. Yeah. This is his, like his... I think fourth season, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Where's the impact? You know, I don't think he has the, impacted the, us the in winning any the way. Europa League and the League Cup. Yeah, uh, one I and doubt that was Pogba. Pogba and Ibra. Uh, Ibra, yeah, Ibra's that 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 guy was free. <laughs> but but how did you think Manchester United uh, bounce back after that Leipzig defeat in the league? Uh, Were you happy with that performance during the okay, weekend, last weekend? Okay, that was straight to City, right? Yeah, and, it was City. Uh, no, I was not happy. But uh, You were expecting a win? I was expecting a win. Because okay. I... What, what happened there? I, of course, we always expect a win, but because... 
but at the same time with city man i'm just happy we didn't get raped so <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the same time i did not expect both to go in with the mentality of draw to draw a game that yeah. was the funny part you know i don't get it and we did have a couple of chances with uh, rashford and all but again again i'm saying this we do not have a finisher <laughs> yeah. yeah i i mean that two i think rashford was literally in front of goal and he just decides to volley it <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean any other player la, i mean you don't need to even have experience maybe danny ings what you have danny ings or yeah, even so maybe okay kane yeah kane would have Oh, well. Oh, you know, they, or they would have brought it down and you know try to look for a rotor player. Yeah. But no, he decides to take it first time, you know. So it was so and Ole seems to be happy with a draw there. And <laughs> oh, the good city it was a city on the up. Uh, but we did actually, the double over city last season. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. So yeah. and the second season was with Ole as well. I mean second half of the season then. So why are we happy with a draw? But it's okay, we didn't lose. So yeah. <laughs> still got a game in hand. Still got a game in hand, uh, and uh, we yeah now six points behind Liverpool. I think we're a game in hand. Yeah, yeah. We are at twenty now. Yeah. Thoughts on your match on the match tonight, upcoming match? Sheffield. Okay. They got only one point. Yeah. They, they, yeah. Where are they playing? Yeah. Old Trafford. They are playing away. Away. Yeah. yeah we're playing Bramall Lane. Away. Bramall Lane. Yeah. Bramall Lane. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, they are looking for a first win. Sheffield. I have no idea what happened to them this season, but. It. <laughs> it, it suffice, suffice to say, United will probably, probably steamroll. Probably, over. probably. It won't be a high scoring game. Especially league. that I would predict. They, they, there's always a bounce. We yeah. only, I always see yeah. a bounce after they have one yeah. some lousy performance. <laughs> they always have a bounce. Like, yeah. like so I, 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 I think it'll, it'll be a United win, but probably not by a huge margin. Three, maybe. Three, three one. I, but yeah. I do predict maybe Sheffield will score. So. <laughs> will at least one. I would say maybe three one or three nil. I would say. Uh, and who yeah. do they have this weekend? So, uh, uh, we are playing Leeds. Oh yeah, Leeds. Leeds at oh, home. Wow. Yeah, we are playing. That's Leeds. a that's a game actually. That's going to be a, a crazy game. Okay. We are meeting Leeds yes, after yeah. Marcelo. How many years we are meeting Leeds? Yeah. <laughs> you know. What do you think about that? What do you think on the score? Mm. Oh, most of our viewers will only probably get to see uh, this video after. Yeah, I understand. Match, yeah. But, but the Leeds, you can give. But the Leeds game, uh, I I don't know why. Leeds have been inconsistent this season. Sometimes, like yesterday, they won five two, two against, yeah. but that's Newcastle. So sorry, like. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm going for United win as well for Leeds. Yeah, for three. I don't know. Yeah, it could, be, it, could be, it could be something like this. Yeah, high scoring, like it's similar to Liverpool, right? Yeah. Four three. It's high scoring. Yeah, yeah. Well, Arsenal four three. It was zero zero. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, but I, I, I. I don't know, maybe uh, not really favourable on the high scoring. Maybe it will be a win, but 2-1 or 3-1. So you've got to adjust your expectations for Manchester United this season. Like, uh, initially, your predictions was uh, semi-finals <laughs> in the Champions League and yeah. in the top four, right? Yeah, top four. Um, yeah. Now, where do you see them finishing? How do they, do you see them winning the Europa League? Uh, Definitely, uh, right? it must be. <laughs> They're one uh, of the better teams. They're one of the better teams, right but now. we straight away got one of the better teams in uh, yeah. Sierra. We got Spurs in the. Yeah, Silva. Yeah, 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 Silva. So they're pretty. Yeah. Jose, man. Nah. Nah. Spurs is. I don't know. Nonsense guy. Not biased at all. Not biased at all. I'm not. I always view things very subjectively. The view is not this. Spurs, yeah. But then again, we also, I guess, Kawani being injured and now if you guys heard that he might yeah, be banned FA FA yeah, yeah. FA uh, I, I, I don't know I, I, social I kinda, media posting <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? exactly like for me it's like yeah I mean what happened there uh, I guess it's in their country in their culture is a bit different but yeah. up, and other people take it different because if someone's going to be racist and they're going to op- be openly like that on Instagram I think it's not going to be a, I mean I don't think Kavani is stupid enough to do that but mm. uh, I guess I mean, like, I'm, if you're gonna compare in Malaysia, like how we call like, like, Matsale a name, you know, yeah. it, it's yeah. still something you're calling the white guy uh, yeah. with a slang, you know, so yeah. with a slur, I would say. So, but in for us, it's not offensive, but maybe they find it offensive. White people might find it yeah. offensive. So, so can I just point out the yeah. irony, not not irony, but yeah. just like a point in this situation is that I think that's the exact word mm. Suarez used. He did against he did. Yeah, well, but yeah. he got a long ban. Yeah, 
understand. Yeah, yeah. understand. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's, yeah. I'm not saying it's right. It's not I'm, right. It's not right. It's not it's right. right. It's not right. It's a European thing. Yeah, it's a European thing. It's strike partners and yeah. then, you know, it's against It's United not right to use pool. the word yeah. any, any time, I would say. Like, but I'm just saying yeah. that like, I don't think there's any malicious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I mean, as a Liverpool yeah. fan, I don't think it was right, but yeah. I don't think he meant it in a way. He meant it in a way, yeah. At the same time, like, he wouldn't put it on, on Instagram. Like, who's stupid enough to do that? You're yeah. professional, you're, you're 30 years old, <laughs> yes, but you're, exactly, you're not even yeah. dumb, you know. I, mean, yeah, I guess like, maybe back when he's uh, in Uruguay, yeah, maybe it's like something normal. Yeah, like you say Matsale. Yeah, Matsale, yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, fair enough. So, but, so if with him gone, <laughs> again, finishes, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with uh, Man United right now. I mean, the defence did improve, I guess, for now, but uh, because against the City game, they were brilliant, man. Shaw and uh, Maguire, actually, they were not <laughs> they were quite good, actually. And uh, but let's see how it goes with today, tonight's game, and Leeds game. Yeah. So six points by the end of the week. Mm, yes, I predict that. Yes, okay. yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, results. For, that's the best results we can hope for. Yeah, for, for of course. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. But let's move on to Liverpool right now. Number uno. Thank All right, thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Walk us through Liverpool's yeah. week so far. This is uh, a really good our last podcast. Uh, oh, Champions League qualification. We were playing um, Leipzig in this <laughs> round yeah, in February. So <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll do better than United did. But we don't take them. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. You can't take them like they, they, are, they are a good team. Exactly. They, they are. They are a very good side. I just yeah. want to point out that Manchester United was in the group of death, actually. Yeah. yeah they yeah, had they a, a finalist, yes. Champions League finalist, and a semi finalist yeah. in yeah. their group. It's a very good so team. It's a pretty difficult and group to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is Tumble. They just got Tumble. Tumble was like with the head. You see the head. I don't understand how he could have. He's like ball, bro. Ball. For the full career, he was ball. I don't know. Yeah, so that Leipzig game will be very interesting. Interesting, but yeah, that's yeah. all the way in February, right? Yeah. And Liverpool's got to focus yeah, on the league, the, the, and, uh, the Premier League. Actually, League. To be honest with you, I'm I'm really surprised that Liverpool are, are where they are right now. Three points, I mean, yeah. top of the table. Mm -hmm. I mean, after that win against Tottenham, Tottenham Hotspur, last, uh, yeah, last spots, night, yeah, last spots. <laughs> <Okay. Spots. laughs> yeah, which is uh, which Tottenham is, hot shit. No, <laughs> I don't know if you guys watched watch the game, <laughs> but um, Liverpool, honestly, as a fan, when I watched it, it was it was crazy, and you can you can it was like. One touch passing, it was like Wijnaldum, Henderson, even like youngsters like Curtis Jones, Rhys Williams, Williams, they were like seasoned vets, they played like they were seasoned vets. And I, I, I don't know how Klopp does it, because like, you know, last time Gerard Goulier with Eagle, R.I.P. Gerard Goulier, by the way. Oh, right, yeah, 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 we got it. Uh, when, you know, yeah, 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 Gerard Goulier and Igor Biscan, you know, he, he put him into defense and he looked like absolute shit, you know, so I, I, I don't understand how he made like, you know, Fabinho look so good in the back. And then Henderson had, at one point had to play at the back as well. So I think Klopp has done a very, very good job in getting the team to cover each other. You know, whenever someone, someone is so-called like weak in certain areas, like one of them will cover Reese Williams or Fabinho will cover like, you know, Robertson when he goes up. It's always very complimentary. So, yeah, the Spurs game, that was, that was crazy stuff. And um, I don't know if you got, if you got lucky at the end, but, um, you know, because... Yeah, there were, hitter, yeah cause, Fabinho, cause, cause, cause Spurs had a lot of chances earlier on as well. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. Bergwijn, in the second half, yeah, yeah. Harry I saw Kane, it. They had chances, man. They could have easily buried them. We, yeah. we would have been two, three goals behind. True. So, I'm very happy to be... But, yeah. I guess Spurs were also lucky. Son's yeah. goal, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's a little, outside, question, a little questionable. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. some VAR reviews, they get zoomed yeah. into the microscopic details, yeah, right? Yeah. But this one didn't. I don't know why. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? Is it because, because it's of stupid spots or some shit like this? I, I don't know. But anyway. And it, it lost anyway, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, I yeah. just feel like yeah. if. I mean, uh, Salah's goal against Brighton, that one was yeah. like. You yeah, know, they zoom really and then they took out the, the lines. Yeah, and, and all the trigger number three, yeah, you know, it cost time. This, one didn't, get, on, this yeah. one didn't get anything. Yeah. Just. Yeah, he's on side. Yeah, apparently. Son is a brilliant player. I like yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but since you're talking about it, I, I heard about this like the line thickness in Premier League is actually different from the other VAR. Hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Do you hear about that? Yeah. So apparently it's more crazy in the EPL for offside lines. I see. Yeah. So, so it's more it's specific, they interpret More wider, I think. Or wider, yeah, more wider oh. or more thinner, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's more thinner. Yeah, it's more thinner, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. So there's less margin for Less margin for Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I can't complain. Top of the table, three points ahead of the closest contenders. Um, with so many players out. I just hope we can get through December with like, you know, undefeated. 
I heard mm, Virgil's yeah. doing well, right? Yeah, Virgil's yeah, doing well. Virgil's yeah. actually back in training. I don't training, know if you guys yeah. see the yeah. videos. He's actually training like water and like water right. hydrotherapy and all that kind of stuff. So I think he's maybe he's, March, February, maybe March. March. Maybe, yeah, maybe I was hoping like maybe by my March we'll be like mm. we'll be like right there. Maybe like plus minus you know one two positions above you know and then just push on for the title. Because I don't think anybody's really sticking their claim for it. They say look at Spurs because oh, no, it's in Chelsea. Not Spurs. Let's let's see Drew West Brom, you know. So not I think, Chelsea. Not Chelsea. <laughs> What's yeah, going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So and United Chelsea, are, Chelsea, Chelsea lost, man. Yeah, yeah, Chelsea lost. Two, two this is not That's a team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two, two in a row, so, right? Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, yeah, two in a row. They yeah. lost to uh, Wolves. Yeah. Wolves. And uh, yeah. before they, they lost to Everton. Everton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I think Liverpool, if they were to defend the title this year, it would be more impressive than winning it last year because so many injuries and the fixtures are so congested, so congested, congested. Yeah. And you know it's a yeah, game week nineteen. Yeah, like, we, we guys and us. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool United. Yeah. And yeah. we are playing coming coming up, double coming games. We're going to have a special for them. Yes, yeah. like, we're, we're going to watch a special. Watch along, but uh, watch along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, we should have we should a watch along. Watch along. Watch along. Let us know if you guys want to see watch along. Watch along. Especially with these two. Yeah. Combustible. No, actually, no. Adrian. 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 Shout out to Adrian. Shout out to Adrian. But you point cook. It'll be interesting though because I think Liverpool. And Man United are playing double games that week. Yeah, yeah so yeah, like, we yeah. don't know how they're going to rotate the team as yeah, well. Yeah. You know? so yeah. Who's but Liverpool playing this weekend? Liverpool are playing Crystal Palace away. Roy Hodgson. And Roy Christian Hossin. Benteke. Benteke. He's he scored. He's scored. He's scored. He's scored. He's scored. He's scored. He's scored. He hit it. Really hit it. Yeah. Then he got set off. <laughs> yeah. So he might not play. He might not play. Yeah. yeah. No, he won't play. No, he, he won't play, bro. Yeah, he, he won't play. play. Yeah, he won't play. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should be able to win this game. I, I don't think Palace pose, pose much of a threat. Saha is uh, injured as well, right? They, they don't do much. predictions for that? For Palace and Liverpool? Yeah. I, think, I think Liverpool win 2-0. 2-0 to Liverpool. 0-2. Wow. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think Palace can, can beat it. I'll be more scared of like... Southampton or something, because they actually are a pretty decent team. Must be pretty nice huh, to be where you guys are sitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are telling me, you guys are. Yeah, you know, I think yeah, we're yeah. getting maximum points yeah, really? from uh, <laughs> fixtures this weekend. Uh, yeah, I don't pose much of a threat. Uh, it's easy. Uh, <laughs> the game I would the love the that, party. that <laughs> kind of <laughs> confidence. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's okay, but you guys, Southampton is a. Tell us, about, tell us about Arsenal, sir. Tell us, tell us it's your, a tough team. Give us a five minute. Uh, uh, this is a three yeah. minutes, sir. Three minutes. What, three what, minutes. What, what, tell what, us about last the Arsenal. Week, last night's uh, game. What else like, can I say? They put me through the grinder, <laughs> <laughs> the emotion. You see, your blood pressure goes up. But, you know, uh, I mean, amidst all this, right, I get to appreciate what every other team fan, fans, you know, like yeah. in the bottom half, who, teams who finish us usually in the bottom half of the Premier League, I get to know what they feel. Like, I get to. Go into a game yeah. at home and not expect to win. <laughs> I, I get to feel that. I get to feel like I can watch without being too frustrated now. I mean, in my heart, <laughs> I am frustrated, but I don't show it because. <laughs> 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 this is funny. <laughs> and no, the thing is, right? So you watch a game, you just. <laughs> <laughs> you just literally. <laughs> tell, 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 and when, when Walcott scores, like of course yeah, it has to be yeah, Walcott, right? Yeah. Of course yeah, yeah, yeah. it has to be Walcott. Like because who else will score? <laughs> because Walcott will score. And now we're gonna play Everton and Iwobi will score. And after that we're gonna go to Chelsea and Giroud will score. Because oh, that's what Arsenal does. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing is, Jiru has been on form. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. scoring. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell us about how you woke up your wife to to stop. You want to feel whether it's <laughs> real or not. <laughs> I read that on Facebook. Bro, I mean, it was uh, the game. She's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> it was the game of the Burnley, right? Yeah, right? You know, you. I mean, we don't get the privilege as you know other European countries. They get to watch the game at like proper after dinner hours and stuff like this. But we, we have to wake up at like two or four. Yeah. To, like to catch mid match, to yeah. catch yes. mid matches, right? Especially since Arsenal plays uh, on Thursdays, they play at stupid hours on Sundays, right? Yeah. Europa's always four. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the Burnley game was at four. It was a working day on Monday. Yep. So Go ahead, work, man. you put on the alarm. <laughs> so when you wake up, you're already at night because of the sound of the alarm. <laughs> so that's one trigger. Yeah. And then you put the phone there. And then you switch on the television, <laughs> and then you see some shit like this. <laughs> and then you see 
some guy thinking he's a UFC fighter, <laughs> putting his son on some fellas, man. What about Jaka, boy? What about Jaka? Jaka. He's an idiot, man. I swear. What are you doing, I man? Don't ever want to see him put on an Arsenal jersey anymore. All right. You know, okay. he didn't apologize uh, yeah. after yeah. that Crystal Palace uh, debacle, mm -hmm. which was, uh, what was it, last season. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, the manager reinstated him into the team. Mm -hmm. And he didn't appreciate this, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Then he did, did some shit like this. Yeah. People say, oh, there, I see a lot of improvement in Xhaka. Oh, Mikel Arteta has improved yeah, yeah, yeah. Xhaka. Yeah. No! When, what is the improvement they're talking what about? What happened, though, at that, that red card, though? He was not even involved, right? Okay, so he committed a fall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and then uh, some, yeah. uh, alter, uh, some altercation yeah, with the player. Choked. And he just... Yeah. 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 <laughs> what the hell is he doing? And he was violent. He was yeah, really violent. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's not gonna play for three games. Yeah. So he's missing out. Uh, well, he just got newborn apparently. So he's got yeah. a lot of time to spend with his family. Go, go. Why? Just, just so spend Zaka time. Zaka Boom with the is no. He's so, just bombed. Yeah, yeah. Zaka Boom is yeah. bombed. Man. Can tell us about Bellary's uh, free throw. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. oh shit! You guys are just <laughs> bombarding. No, 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 no. The Arsenal. I see my only Arsenal fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then you get another joker like Valerie. <laughs> Actually, he's a good player. I no, he's a good player. Exactly. I don't know what, what's, what's wrong with him. Yeah. I think the problem with Arsenal is a confidence thing right now. Mm -hmm. um, Arsenal's... But Pierre, Scott. Yeah. 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 No, but Aubameyang uh, looks like a shell of his, of his best. I have player. no idea why. Yeah. He doesn't look like... He's I think like, yeah. uh, part of it is down to fatigue. Like, yeah. after the coronavirus. Uh, I mean, after the players yeah. returned, right? Yeah. Back in sometime in June. It was a very condensed period where they had to finish the season and they didn't have a proper pre-season after that. It was right. like a one-month break yeah, only yeah. before the, uh, the new season started. So, yeah, uh, and plus Arsenal played in the Community Shield and the FA Cup yeah. final. Oh, where, yeah, so then started where their season, actually, yeah. their break was less than a month. All right, right. Because, uh, I think we... I think we played Liverpool. Yeah, we played Liverpool. it was yeah. the beginning of August and at the end of August. So that's what happened. You know, fatigue is definitely playing a role. Yeah. Uh, and also, I think this season you're starting to see more and more things getting leaked out of the club. So um, it started off with the release of 50 redundant staffs. Yeah, right. And then yeah. Uh, and the mascot, Gunasaurus. <laughs> Gunasaurus. Yeah. 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 refusing to take a pay cut. And yeah. Things like this. And I think it's pretty much affected the mood of the club yeah. and we didn't get our creative signings as well this season yeah, which yeah. we wanted a few but yeah. we didn't but it's inexcusable that's not an excuse I mean you definitely got to beat Burnley yeah, at yeah. home yeah that's true and they've never won yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, read, I read that, that yeah, yeah. They they never, that's the thing yeah, yeah. They have never won so the suddenly Arsenal decided <laughs> so you just <laughs> they, Because why? I must be sleeping, right? Yeah. I must be dreaming yeah. or some shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you're watching, when I was watching the Southampton game, just basically. So when when Walcott scores, I didn't even feel this. It's like this. Shit. And when Obama Young scores, scored, that's when I. <laughs> and then my wife. Shh. <laughs> Walcott ran the field when he celebrated. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he didn't run the field. I mean, I mean, he, I mean not he like just, he celebrated, but he not, wasn't. He ran the field, it's like, like yeah, Adebayo. Adebayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he, it was a celebration, yeah, but I mean, it was yeah, a celebration. It's fine. Uh, yeah, but yeah. He, he did what he did. Scored 108 goals for the club. Yeah. Uh, and, he, and he left on good terms as well, though, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it was. He's back to his yeah. home club, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. back yeah. to his home club. I mean, okay, so important question. Arteta in, out. Ooh. Okay, so here's the thing. I, I know that they won't sack him. Yeah. I know that they won't sack him. Yeah. That's for sure. It's, mm. it's pointless for, for me to discuss. Yeah. There's no body earmark to take over yeah. Ateta. Yeah. They won't sack him because uh, they know they're not going to finish anywhere. Even if they bring in a new manager, they're not going to finish in the top four, top six, maybe even top eight. They're not going to finish anywhere in these positions, regardless of who the manager is. Yeah. So, no point. Uh, might as well just keep Ateta for the remainder of the season and reevaluate his performance for an entire season. We have the Europa League, although we do we are playing Benfica, it's a pretty difficult team, but I don't know, I have a good feeling about the Europa League. Now that I'm saying it, I probably jinxed it and we're probably gonna <laughs> But that's in February, so yeah. yeah. 
I got time yeah. <laughs> to keep my sanity. Benfica, man, they knocked out United before in the Champions League last time. Yeah. yeah. But do you think a change of manager will not will not yield anything though? Because I remember like when um when Emery came in, they went on that streak. Yeah, so, uh, you know, because 22 oh, games yeah. was such a streak. streak. No, yeah. only came in. Yeah, but they still, streak. Streak. But they still yeah. finished the season fit. Yeah, I mean. So that's the thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. So, talk yeah. end results. Yeah, we're okay. talking about like right. uh, the finish at the end of the season. Yeah. They're probably not okay. going to finish in the top eight. Mm. That's me being extremely yeah. realis- realistic. Uh, as long as Arsenal escapes relegation, which looks Leaves. really looming right now, uh, okay. I guess that's a good season, I guess. Right now, uh, that's that's my perspective. <laughs> so now I know what it feels like, like I said, to be a, a fan. Like yeah. you don't expect certain wins, you know. But you still watch it, right? You still watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes, it goes uh, it's boring though. It's a little it's like, boring. It's like when uh, 2010, 2011, when Roy Hodgson was in charge. Oh, right. But oddly, yeah. but oddly yeah. enough, Arsenal are playing. Uh, you can see glimpses of of, this, of this, brilliance there. Yeah, of good football. So. I yeah, the one goal is just was one brilliant, kick. man. Yeah. That was a brilliant pass. So, and, you know, it's typical Eddie, Arsenal yeah, with their one touch, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, let's hope uh, Arsenal, you know, pick themselves up. Because mm. Arteta's been getting results against the big teams, you know. They, yeah. He's beaten Chelsea, yeah. he's beaten Man City, yeah. he's beaten Liverpool, yeah. he's beaten Manchester United. <sighs> so, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I don't understand why he can't emulate that, you know. Yeah. Every week in, week out. Yeah. If you were, if you were him, would you reinstate Ozil in January? I would never have uh, I would never have not submitted him in my 25 man yeah, squad. Of course. Whether yeah. he's in my match day first 11, yeah, that's yeah. something else. She's had an option. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a lot of disruption by the players. So a lot of uh, players poison yeah. would need to go. Right? They need right. to go. Yeah. I think Guendouzi was one of them and he's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's, uh, he's, he's... But thinking of players, uh, January transfer window? Oh, Arsenal are rumoured to sign yeah, uh, this Porto player, right? Uh, Fabian Vieira. Oh. That's a 20 year old youngster. Oh, Alright, yeah. okay, so he's uh, the second Vieira then. So that's, uh, he's a midfielder. Yeah. Um, then they're also rumoured for Isco from Real Madrid. Who's oh, nice. 28 nice, year old nice. Isco. Oh, he's still 28. Huh? Man, yeah. I thought he was older than that. Really. And uh, a Leon player okay. back. Uh, they were linked with him throughout the whole summer. Now um, interest is back. Cool. Twenty-two year old Hossem Awa. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Would you take Memphis to buy back? I would. Yeah. Yeah. I would. He's good, man. Memphis, talented fella. Dude, now you should watch <laughs> yeah. his podcast. He, he talked about Memphis to buy. <laughs> Did you? Podcast, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, he's good. Well, but he's a distraction as well. Yeah, he's another pop bar. Yeah, you know? he's, 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 <laughs> he's an idiot with his cars and everything. I, I wish we have Lemon Bruno's playing now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Are you still going to go against go for Sancho again? No. Jaden? No, man. No, look at. We were whack last yeah. week, right? Yeah. Bogman, how yeah, about yeah. 5 1, is it? Yeah. But they just won their match. Yeah, they just won, yeah. Won, yeah. 100 million for him? No yeah, way, no way, man. No way, way. In hell, man. No way. Yeah, no. I don't think. Think Sancho for 100 million. 50 million maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, last thought. Yeah. Right. You guys think you guys will sign in the January transfer window? Right now, right now. Mm-hmm. At the top of your head, who are you guys linked to? Not many right now. Not actually. many actually, yeah. probably. Yeah. Liverpool, Liverpool is definitely needs a defensive cover. Yeah. But the thing uh, is, Liverpool is actually looking at um, one player. Uh, to replace uh, Jorginho Center back, right? No, no, oh, no. It's a Wijnaldum replacement. Uh, just give me a second, let me recall who. Renato Sanchez. Yeah, Renato Ch- Sanchez, Sanchez from Lille. 23 year old Portuguese player. They're monitoring He's Renato good. Sanchez good. to replace uh, oh, okay. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Cool, okay. Yeah. Mm. That's Liverpool's uh, news. But actually, I like, I, I'm, I've, I've grown to be a fan of Wijnaldum though. I think he's an excellent midfield anchor the way he recycles the ball the way he, he does all the you know intangibles that you don't yeah. really notice you know he, he's actually a very very good midfield player good uh, he, stays, he started his career as a winger did you know yeah, yeah okay okay he started his career as a winger well I like it he's always, he's always there always available to Newcastle okay? so you definitely think Liverpool if they're in by sometime in March they're somewhere still first second yeah you got a good shot I think I think we'll probably will win it Hopefully, think United hopefully. can catch up to that. I mean, uh, like what I said, uh, we are six points behind Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. have two games in hand, yeah, including right. the one tonight. So yeah. if we win both, it's almost the same points. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so 
Okay. I mean, <laughs> based on how we performed these past few seasons and everything, I, I just would love to see us win again. Okay. At least a trophy for now. You guys are going to, I mean, to our viewers, you guys are just going to help uh, give us more news, right? You guys are going to try and give us updates on the club's progress. You yeah. Know? So yeah. we're going to expect some videos from, from Ling and Nick on their club's update. Also, another thing that I want to update you guys is Ling knows about his punishment <laughs> about the quiz. Uh, <laughs> right. Funny thing is, uh, Ling won one quiz yeah. that was yeah. recorded, but oh, I don't know what video. happened, that, and then the video was rendered unusable. So Ling does have a win actually, <laughs> and he gets to actually tell Nick what to do too. So how about we, we both wear Posing jerseys. Uh, well, actually, just, just just there, yeah. Uh, Nick just volunteered yeah. to wear United just to jersey. Be, just to be fair, okay, let's just put that in perspective. He volunteered. Did, you did win. <laughs> you did win. But I will cry after that. Uh, my soul will die. I will burn soul. inside. Any of my heart. You need to show this to Liverpool fans. The all the die hat. Uh, <laughs> any United fans gonna watch me the next time? I'm uh, sorry. I might get killed. I might get killed. <laughs> a lot back in the club. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like Steven Gerrard. Maybe put on the jersey and do a little dance. No. <laughs> oh, no. All right. No. Put on Man United jersey and sing Glory Glory, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, okay. okay, okay, go. Five so minutes. Fair enough. We'll Five, minutes. Walk alone. Five minutes. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. I'm, I'm wearing a little okay. <laughs> no okay. jersey. Yet. I'm gonna wear. Alright. All right. <laughs> Five minutes. That's Five it. Minutes. Five minutes. That's it. Yeah. I thought we just take it off. <laughs> Ooh, dude, you need a shower. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I didn't expect that. And with that, that's our show, guys. Thanks so much for Thank watching. You guys. Please do support our channel and please do subscribe to our content. And you know, if you like what we're saying, if you like what you're seeing, please just give us a thumbs up, right? Because we appreciate thumbs up. And share, share this video. Right? Yeah, share it with your friends. Share and if you have any thoughts, uh, any feedback on football, and you want to talk about football, just uh, let us know, okay? And you know, the comment section space underneath there. It's for you guys to say whatever you want to say. Okay, with that said, uh, we're signing off.